guys and welcome back to my channel um today we are going to do a grocery haul for you this is my first grocery haul in the new house um so we're going to get straight into this <laughs> what's wrong you okay okay so my kitchen is set up a little bit differently than my last one so we have stuff over there as well um so the first things we got we got five packs of meat because it's pick five for $19.99 20 bucks so we got five packs of meat we mostly got chicken and it's boneless, skinless, because that's just the best kind. Um, it's the healthiest. Um, in this bag, I can't even take everything out of the bag yet. We literally just walked in. It's a blizzard outside. It's been warm. It hasn't even, we didn't even have a real winter, to be completely honest. Like, even on Christmas, there wasn't much snow. Okay, I'll put it in in a minute. And now we're, like, paying for it because everybody's like, oh, my God, it's, it's time for it to be amazing and warm. And I hate you winner I hate you anyway we got some everything bagels I got some potatoes trying to get whole grain spaghetti noodles but didn't have them so I just got these ones they're just white brand Mattia I got Noval three of her go-gurts they're just the Yoa brand and we have strawberry blueberry cotton candy melon berry and strawberry and watermelon I believe Yep, strawberry went down. So. And then, here. This is like all over the place, guys. All over the place. Okay, though. I got three home-cooked frozen meals. This one's the chicken alfredo by Easton's. Um, they're all really good, actually. Um, I'd recommend these to anybody. And then we also got the cheesy ranch chicken one. And the garlic chicken. I haven't had the garlic chicken yet. Um, or the cheesy ranch one. But willing to try because the other two were so amazing. I want them. So moving over here. We got some organic baby spinach for some smoothies. Healthy smoothie options. And I don't know what you guys feel. I, a long time ago, like back last year sometime, I talked about the celery juice diet. And I wanted to try it. And I tried it over the weekend. Get down. And it was disgusting. <laughs> I took a sip of it and I was like, my body was like, no, like it wasn't even enough for me to fully taste it. It was just enough for me to like, like tongue taste it. Like, you know, like gross. But I'm going to try it again. We got some salad. Um, this is just the iceberg shredded. This is going to be for tonight's dinner. We're just going to have chicken salad with some cheese on top and some um, spices and some chicken and that's it and some ranch dressing so I also got some celery that's why I mentioned the celery diet I'm actually just gonna put a bunch of this into my smoothies every single morning and I'm gonna do that instead of doing the uh, celery you can also do a celery and banana or a celery and like apple and that's what I forgot was bananas I'm kicking me in the ass because I forgot bananas that was my number one thing on my list and I'm just so upset about it but that's okay and then this bag, we got some barbecue. I'm actually going to have a video coming up. I'm just going to take, like, a bunch of freezer bags, um, like, Ziploc freezer bags. But I'm going to make, like, meals if you're busy, and I'm going to put them in the freezer, stuff like that. I'm actually going to do that um, coming up next week. You'll actually see that video. So that would be pretty cool. I got some on-the-go cheesy mac and cheese. This is just for me. I know this is not healthy. It's, like, one of the main healthy, unhealthy things in my grocery haul. But I need this for like lunch at work. It's just so much easier. Then I don't forget it. I'll just leave those in my car because they can't freeze. And we just got two bags of the steamed broccoli and cheese. And this is actually a Save a Lot brand. Um, Pickwell Farms. These are actually really good. Too. One of the issues I have with them is that it seems that the bags break so easily. I'm not 100% on on that. But you know what? That's okay. <clears throat> These two bags, don't mind my cats, they're mad because I didn't need to eat again. We got one green pepper. I got myself two iced coffees. This one's a caramel, and it's by the Victoria Allens, or Victor Allens, and then I got a vanilla. That's what these two look like. I've only tried the caramel, but the vanilla, um, I don't know how it's going to taste. I'm assuming it's going to taste really good. It almost tastes like a low-calorie Starbucks drink. So these are pretty good. Um, I'm just going to stick these in the fridge and have them for whenever. And I also, because I normally do decaf, these don't bother my stomach at all, which is really surprising. But I also um, add half water, and it goes a long way. It lasts longer, and it dilutes the formula. 
so it's healthier. I mean, it's not too healthy, but you're at least getting your water in compared to watering it down at all, you know? But what is coffee if it's not watered down? <laughs> we got the organic 100% apple juice. We'll only get the organic kind, and we're actually going to slow our roll on this because I want to cut out apple juice and only have, like, one juice a day. Um, but I don't know how that's going to work. These are not the healthiest, and I'm not saying that they're fully healthy. They have whole grain in them, which is nice. They have a few health benefits, but they're not 100%. But we got the Sun Belt um, peanut butter and chocolate chip cereal bars. Then we also got the raspberry ones, and yes, they are made with whole grain. It's the first ingredient on the entire box, but for one bar of this one, it's $140. For one bar for this one, it's $130. I think it's because this one has, like, nuts and, like, coconut and stuff like that, so it's healthier option. <clears throat> And then we just got a box of popsicles because Novell is obsessed with popsicles. <coughs> Running out of room, ladies. Men, whoever is watching. I also got low fat vanilla Greek yogurt. Um, that's just the brand and such. Let's stick that right there. I got some garlic herb spaghetti sauce and some original. And then also I got some Italian dressing for the meals that I'm going to be putting in a, in a bag and putting in the freezer for easy access that I'll be doing the video on. <clears throat> and then I thought of this because I saw it today. I run a housekeeping job. I don't run it, but I, like I'm there for it. And some lady had a popcorn bowl. They call it popcorn bowls. They're a big glass bowl. And they had it on their table with apples and oranges in them. And I'm like, you know what? Our produce goes bad so quickly because we're not thinking, oh, it's in there. It's in there. So let's eat it. So I'm going to take one of my large glass bowls that I guess I could call a popcorn bowl. And I'm going to put oranges and apples on the table. And I'm going to make sure that when I need a snack, it's right there. It's something healthy. It's right there. It's, it's ready to be eaten. Come on, Rachel. Just think. <laughs> but anyway, we got some Ohio apples. Um, these are the Fuji Sweet Crisp Eating. And then we just got a thing of Halos. And we got a bag of popcorn. Just the smart popcorn. And then we also got a bag of my favorite chips ever. Um, and then there's the Sun Chips 100% Whole Grain Garden Salsa. They're so good. So, 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 so good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. We also got one gallon of chocolate milk, low fat, one gallon of white milk. Um, I got, I think that was 2%. Oh no, we didn't get our own milk this time. We got milk for my in-laws. And then we just got a big case of water, which was nice because it was on sale for $2.39, which is amazing. So, anyway, that's my grocery haul for the week. I'm hoping this all lasts a week. We can have things like stir fry with this. We can have... Um, chicken salad, like what we're having tonight. We can make things move in. Um, uh, we can have spaghetti, stuff like that. So, um, it's going to be really exciting. But anyway, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you have not done so already. And make sure you comment down below what your favorite, uh, meal of the week is at your home. And what you saw today that you might possibly try. Like these garlic chicken things, if you could find them. And give me, like, I don't know, like, give me a, a healthy recipe down below that you guys love, that your family loves, and that I can get my toddler to eat because she's so picky with food. But anyway, until next time, God bless you. Bye!